Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have Glow in the Dark card for you today. I hope you like it. The design of this card is pretty simple. I use Kindred Stamps Students of Magic stamp set and I only use one character and a sentiment from the stamp set. I already went ahead and colored my character using my zig markers. I did color two of these characters because I made two cards but I'm just showing you one in the video. I'm going to do some ink blending here and the paper I'm using is Stratmore Bristol paper. I used tumble glass distress oxide to color the paper with my makeup brush. I'm going to dry my panel with my heat tool. I want to make sure the embossing powder doesn't stick uh, to the ink on the paper. And then I even tested it out by pouring the embossing powder on the paper and I think it's dry so I can move on to the next step. I taped down my panel on my surface with a little bit of washi tape. And then I will also tape down my stencil on top of my panel with more washi tape. The stencil I'm using is Gina Marie Designs Deer Stencil. I'm going to add color first using Broken China Distress Oxide Ink. And as you can see, even though I taped down my stencil, it still moved because I was heavily handed uh, blending the color. After I add the color, I'm adding in some embossing ink and I have this cube embossing ink from Hero Arts and this cube is perfect because I can get to a small spaces using the point of the ink. And then I'm going to pour some of this Wild Glow in the Dark embossing powder and then heat set it, heat set the powder until melted and shiny using my heat gun. I will die cut this panel with the largest die from Gina Marie Designs Big and Little Chain Rectangles and I'm using my pookie tool here to remove all the die cuts from the small, small holes. I'm cutting my vellum to 2 inches wide using my Fiskars trimmer. And then I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the vellum with Versafine Onyx Black Ink and emboss it with clear embossing powder and then melt the powder with my heat tool. I'm going to wrap the vellum on the panel and then I'm just uh, folding the sides here and then I realize I can use my um, bone folder so I use that and then I'm going to fold the other side and crease it with the bone folder as well. And then I'm going to tape them with tape the vellum on on the back of the panel using clear tape. I add dry adhesive on the back of this panel and then we'll go ahead and adhere it on our A2 size card base. I add a little bit of liquid glue on the back of those letters so the glue doesn't show on the vellum. And then we'll add our character beside the sentiment and then I decided to pop him up on the card using foam tape. And then for the inside of the card, I just stamp the bird and the hat uh, in the corner. Uh, in the inside of the card using Collider Color Tomato Vine Ink. And then I added some glossy accents on his eyeglasses to look shiny. And my card is finished. I love how this card turned out. I use vellum for the sentiment and character because I don't want to cover the background. And here is the glow in the dark effect. I took this video in the closet so it's dark and you can see the glow-in-the-dark embossed background. 
As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.